Hi, it's Patrick Prevold with Full Quarantine Hair in Force. My friend Akash said that I should make some cooking videos, so I figured, what the heck, I'm going to try one. I've never done any video editing before, so we'll see how this goes, see if I like it enough to do some more. You ready? Here we go. Today, we're going to make Frog's Point Rub. This is a simple spice rub that I put on almost anything. It makes the sexiest fried chicken you'll ever have. It's good on venison. It's good on steak. It's good on everything. So you want to see how to do it? Let's go. So to do this, you're really only going to need a few things. You're going to need a bowl, you're going to need a spice grinder, you're going to get, need some measuring spoons, and you're going to need your ingredients. Now, a spice grinder is nothing more than a coffee grinder that you use for spices. Because once you've used it for spices, guess what? You don't want to use it for coffee anymore. It'll make your coffee taste so weird, so don't do that. Uh, just buy one. They're super cheap, like 10 bucks or something, and uh, then use it for spices. It's awesome. If you toast whole spices in a pan, and then you grind them fresh, you'll never go back to using them the other way. They're cheaper, they last longer, and they taste so much fantastically better. If you never do it for anything else, just toast dried cumin and use it in your chili instead of using just the powdered blech stuff, you will not regret it. In your bowl, put five tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of baking powder, not soda, one tablespoon of paprika, smoked if you have it, but the regular stuff will do. A teaspoon of kosher salt, a quarter teaspoon each ghost pepper powder and dried thyme. And finish off the pre-ground stuff with a half a teaspoon of granulated garlic, granulated onion, dried basil, parsley, and Italian seasoning. Here's the part where I learn it's a lot easier to shoot this kind of video if you have a cameraman, which I do not. Take a dry pan, no butter, no oil, and heat it under medium-low heat, not high heat. And when it's ready, put in half a teaspoon of peppercorns, half a teaspoon of dried rosemary, and one quarter teaspoon of cumin. Okay, now you just take this and you put it on the heat, and you toss it around. You just toss it around a little bit, toss it around, put it back on the heat, let it sit there for a minute or two, and you're gonna pick it up and you're gonna toss it around again. You're gonna do that until it starts to smell good. It's gonna smell really good. All right, and it's done. Grinding the spices is as easy as it sounds. You just load it into the grinder, fire it up, and go. Now add the ground spices to the bowl. Now get in there with a spoon and just stir it all up. Got any lumps? Mash them up. Once it's fully mixed, you're done. Just put it in a well-sealed jar and it'll keep for a good long time. I need more hands! And there you have it. Frog's Point Spice Rub. It is so good on chicken. It's good on pork. It's good on beef. It's good on venison. It's probably good on ice cream, although I haven't tried that. Uh, if you do, let me know in the comments below. Let me know how it turned out. Cheers.